Warning, this game may have content that is uh, not suitable for younger viewers. If you don't like that, get off this video. Goodbye. Look, I can salute like a soldier. Hope. I like that. Yes, hope. That's what we're all about. Pray until a homie god for hope. Oh, yeah. Let's look. We'll point up, too. That's the homie god's doing right there. Yep, I like that. That's pretty cool. To be honest, the hope the, the hope gesture here looks like that thing where the guy's on the grave and he's like pointing to the side of the grave smiling. That's what it looks like right there. He, look at that. He's like reading a Bible in this in the in this this is the what it looks like it looks like he's reading the bible it's like yes uh it's funny is uh i, I asked alexa to read me a uh, uh a random bible verse and they brought up first timothy and i was like yes thank you thank you alexa or she brought up uh first timothy so i thought that was really cool i don't trust it it looks like a body all right just had to make sure what is first timothy so first timothy is a book in the bible that paul writes and i think he writes it to timothy so Timothy is a guy who uh, who's rather young, and I actually really like the book of Timothy because at one part in Timothy, um, he writes to Timothy saying, um, people are going to look at you for your age, but, uh, but don't let that discourage you because uh, you have the wisdom of God within you or something like that, something along the lines of that. And it just, it really poured into my life because uh, oftentimes I feel like, you know, uh, just because I'm younger, people... Uh, uh, people discount like what I have to give to the world kind of the deal. And so it's like, it's a, uh, it's, it's a really cool thing that it's like, uh, that, that, you know, Paul, Paul tells them, it's like, listen, you're going to have, you're going to be dealing with people who are kind of stuck in their own ways and think that just because you're younger, that means that, uh, they're better than you kind of the deal, or they know better than you. So that's what kind of first Tim I mean, there's more to first Timothy, uh, but first Timothy is basically him writing a letter to a guy named Timothy. And uh, Timothy's one of his, like, uh, I want to say friends or another person that uh, that follows Christ kind of deal. So it was really cool. Hello. Here, Rex, Johnny, Jim, you about to die. <laughs> yeah. That was so easy. I'm scared. I don't know what's in there. Hold up. Wait a minute. Can I jump? Oh, crud. How do you jump? Is it left stick? Is there no jump? Bro, homies, there has to be a jump. Ain't no way there's not a jump. How do I jump? Bro, am I too am I too chubby to jump? What is this? Why is this dude just running into the fog gate? Oh wait, is he a bad guy? Oh, he is a bad guy. Get Rex Sonny Jim, you can't touch me. <laughs> Get, okay, he can. He can. Get Rex Sonny Jim. Well now I know there's not a boss in there, so that's cool. Examine corpse. Hold up. That's not what I wanted to do, but alright. Moon. I wanted to see if I could go over there, but I guess there's nothing over there. Wait, am I using the right weapon? Oh, I think I was using the wrong weapon. I was using the baby weapon. Something seems fishy down here in this civilization. I don't know why I said civilization. I think we chose the right thing. What's in this body? Half moon grass. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we got skills that pay the bills, homies. We're already we're already beating it like a boss. This place looks really nice. It looks very clean. Emphasis on clean. The sunlight's coming in. You got some majestic lights. I feel like this is a boss. I feel like this is a boss. Homies, we're about to face a demon. Here we go. Hello, demon. I didn't actually know if I was facing a demon or not, but now I don't. I'm good at this game, homies. I'm going to die. I'm literally going to die. Die, you smelly glue cheese. Bro, he's got his glutes hanging out. Get out of here. I don't like demons. We're going to kill you. You seem like a weak fool. Yeah, you really do seem like a weak fool. Get wrecked, Sonny Jim. Get that belly button. Get wrecked, Sonny Jim. I'm scared. Get out the way. Die. Bro, it even jiggles. That's so weird. Ew. I hate that. Die. You're a bad demon. I don't like you. Well, I, I think this is a pretty easy boss so far. I ain't gonna lie. 
This is my first boss, though, so I can't really, like, say it's, like, easy, right? If I did not block, I would be a dead man right now. I'm almost going to be a dead man. Hey, remember when I said you're an easy boss? I'm sorry I insulted you. That's all I've got to say about that, all right? I'm sorry. Clearly, clearly you got some problems. All right, yeah, let's do two-handed. Yeah, when he does that, slam, do two-hand. I like that way more. Two hand. Two hand. Oh, I'm so glad I dodged that. Oh, I didn't dodge. I'm so glad I blocked. No! Ah, I hate this. However, the Nexus traps you. You shall remain something. I don't know what the credit said. Gosh dang it, man. I was so close, man. I was so close to beating that boss the first try. Let me live again. Bro, bring me back to that demon. I'll beat the crud out of him this time. I got him down to half health on my first time. Let's go. I hate demons. Thank you for reviving me, lady. I appreciate you. This is the Nexus. It holds together the northern land of Boletaria. Thou canst not quit the Nexus, but the five archstones will guide thee to the outer lands. You've died and the Nexus has imprisoned your soul. You cannot escape the Nexus. Does that mean I am stuck here forever? Did I already lose the best game at the, at the existence? All right, I'm stuck here, homies. I'm stuck. However, by capturing demon souls, you can reclaim your corporeal body. All right, that sounds cool. I can, I can kill demons to get myself back. I like that. I'm going to take a guess and say that he's fought somebody he shouldn't have fought. Hello. I am, I am Sir Derpy Creeper. I am the new soul in here. I'm guessing these, this dude right here probably fought that dude. Crestfallen person awaits. Oh. You can save, you can appraise them. Cool. So this is a crestfallen person. That's what that is. Let's talk to him. We'll see what he's got to say. Well, you slipped through the fissure too, did you? You came for demon souls. Or to save this land. And be remembered as a hero. <laughs> Don't laugh at me. Hunting for demons? Try one of the arch stones. I did, I did. Go. That is why you came, is it not? To this accursed Boletaria. I found an arch stone thingy earlier. Let's talk again. For demon souls. <laughs> Where were <well. laughs> You came for demons. <laughs> It's all the same. You're just another prisoner of the Nexus. I don't like this guy. We're welcome here. As long as we keep slashing up demons. <laughs> Listen, I don't mind. I don't care. Like, if I, had to, if I had to live in a place and all I had to do was kill demons constantly, I wouldn't mind it. Sounds fun to me, man. All right. Cracked stone eye. What is that? Restricts health recovery temporarily. Is that good for me or good for them? Uh, I don't know what the quote that is. All right. Oh, interesting. I'm poor. Tell you, you're not going to last long here. All right. Listen, discount Santa Claus. I, I've lasted quite a long time. I almost killed that demon until he smited my glutes. All right. Listen, I don't give a crud what you mean I, just because I won't buy stuff from you. I'm poor. I am, I've got 186 and you charge like 2,000. Bro, that's like triple. Uh, that's not triple. That's 10 times what I have, you smelly cheese. All right. Hello. I'm Stockpile Thomas. Oh, you sound nice. When the scuds came, I didn't know what hit me. When I came to, I found myself here in this nexus. My wife and daughter. Oh, I'm sorry, dude. Victim to the demons. 
but I would be worthless in battle. At the very least, I hope to lend my assistance to you brave slayers of demons. I would be happy to lighten your load and look after any excess baggage. This guy seems really cool. This guy seems way nicer and way more grateful than the other guy. I like that. When the scourge came, I abandoned my wife and daughter and fled. Oh. But well, it seems like you reflect on it. When I came to, I was in this nexus. I haven't dared venture outside these walls since. I wish I could do more, but <laughs> I am ignorant of the world beyond these walls. Okay, well, I got you, homie. You know, honestly, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, I mean, you 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 admitted you were a coward and stuff like that, and you know, I see. I, it seems like you reflected in a good way, though. So, I mean, I, I ain't gonna hate on you. I, I feel like you're taking the toll on yourself. So, you know, I I think you're a lot nicer than that doofus over there. It's like. Thought just because just I didn't buy anything from him, he was like, I'm going to die. All right. Well, I appreciate you. I don't want to put anything in there, but. No problem. Thank you. That guy's really cool. I like him. He sees himself as somebody bad, but I think he's cool. Hello. I don't know what Umbasa means, but. It has it has a fifty two in it, so I can't I cannot I can't say foul and I can't say fine because it's already good where it is. All right, hello. Oh my, how has this happened? I don't know. Has God abandoned us for no. To show proper God's not abandoned me. Oh, that's why. That's why they said Umbasa. I don't even know what Umbasa means. Umbasa. <laughs> is that it? Is that it? Is that is that literally it? All right. <laughs> Bye, lady. <laughs> I guess that's why. I don't know what Uambasa means, but all right. Or a whoa. Like, it's a, it, to me, it sounds like a whoa. Not a whoa, but a whoa. <laughs> Read message. Here is your soulmate. Why is my soulmate dead and broken? What the could happen? Wait, ah. this is... Thank you, Caleb. I had to think. I was like, is it Caleb? It's, is it Caleb? I'll see. It jumped me a bit. I ain't gonna lie. That got me a bit. Or is this a joke saying I'm never gonna get a girlfriend? That stinks. I'm guessing this is where we need to go. The covetous king. Are these demons? I don't even know. I am lost. Don't worry. I'm lost too. I'll upload that. I don't know where to go. That's a funny little message right there. You know, I'm gonna put a message down too and see if, uh, see if anyone rates my message. Let's see. I guess I put, there's a dead end. There's a dead end ahead. There you go. I have a message now. Hooray. Dude, I'm really cool. I guess there's nowhere else to go. Well, there's also a way that, there's a lot of messages down there. A lot. I've died two times. Congratulations. There's a lot of messages down here. A little messaging never hurt anyone. <laughs> With no stamina, your shield is defenseless and ineffective. You lack the required stats to be used to... These are actual tips in the game, like the tutorial. When uh, when in soul form, your HP is halved. They weren't wrong about that. I can't really do anything else. Let's touch it and see what happens. Oh, okay, so the one I touched down there is where I'm going to spawn. Okay, because I did touch, I did, I did for sure touch an arch stone. Bro, what if I would have died before touching the arch stone? Would I just be sent into the wrong way, or does this automatically send me somewhere? I'm guessing it sends me somewhere, because there's a bunch of bell tolls, and... There's a big dragon. Are you friendly or nice? Oh. Neither. Goodbye. Have a good day. I appreciate you. The gates of Boletaria. I was doing really good on that boss fight, though, homies, to be honest with you. Touch the archstone. Okay, so this is... So we can go back to the Nexus if we needed to and stuff. Cool. 